Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. If you ever forget how to use KSP values, I think a good first step is to draw out a KSP equation. KSP is equal to the concentration of the ions. In this case, we have PB2 plus multiplied by the concentration of Cl minus. And as you can imagine, if KSP is increased, that's going to result in more ions in the solution because a bigger number multiplied by a bigger number is a bigger number overall. Therefore, the higher we make this KSP, the more PB2 plus and the more Cl minus will have dissolved in our solution. So which of these answer choices has the higher KSP value? It's going to be A and B. Let's eliminate C and D. Now we have to consider the solution. Is it going to dissolve better in KCl or NaOH? And the thing that you want to pay attention to is common ions. Notice that KCl has Cl in it, which will increase the Cl minus concentration. And as we know from Le Chatelier's principle, if you increase the concentration of a reactant, it's going to push the re reaction to the left. So it's going to push it towards its solid, solid form. Therefore, if we have this common ion of Cl minus, we're going to have less PbCl2 dissolved in our solution. Therefore, answer choice B is the best answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we will see you next time.